Come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with corn and soybean experts about best practices in pest control, ag issues, and how growers can get more from every acre. All you need is a minute. I'm on my way to the University of Missouri to talk with Dr. Kevin Bradley about how a diversified pre and post weed control program will help increase the life and effectiveness of new herbicide tolerant seed traits. Hey Kevin, good to see you. Good to see you. Let's talk a little bit about the past and the future. Okay. If you could go back in time to when Roundup Ready traits were first introduced, what would you do differently? I think one thing that we uh, could have done a little better or emphasized a little more perhaps is, is the multiple modes of action and usually we're getting that through pre-emergence residual herbicides. One of the things that kind of led to our downfall and our glyphosate resistant weed problem is just using the same thing over and over and of course that was glyphosate. But not only that but using it without a residual or without multiple modes of action. And now talking about the future, with the new traits that are being introduced, what do they offer and how do they work? Well, the, the two most, uh, I guess, recent and the ones that we expect that will uh, be available the soonest are uh, the Enlist trait, and that's uh, a trait that confers tolerance to 2,4-D, and the Extend trait, and that is a, a different trait that confers tolerance to dicamba. Hey, can we go out to your field and talk about this a little bit more? You bet. Let's go. So it's important to preserve the life of these traits. Uh, what happens if we don't use a pre-emergent herbicide? How does that affect how long it takes for them to experience failure or herbicide resistance? Yeah, it, it's just going to be that much quicker. And uh, most, I think most weed scientists would say you're somewhere probably on the order of, of three to four years of that kind of scenario before you're into a, a full-fledged resistance problem. And then how does it affect the uh, traits life and usefulness if you do use a pre-emergent herbicide. What we're what we're shooting for obviously is is to, to keep this from being a problem in the future at all so we're we're hoping for complete uh, lifetime of this new trait without resistance. And how important is it to use a full rate? Extremely important I mean that that's the one thing that I really don't understand why on earth we would reduce the rate of the most effective herbicide that we can put out there. I mean, that, that's the, the key ingredient in the whole package. I think, no question, the number one thing that's led to our downfall is, is not having those multiple modes of action in our system like we needed them. Can the use of a pre-emergent herbicide like Authority in conjunction with these new traits effectively combat PPO resistance? Yeah, the Authority products or, or you know, whatever pre it is, um, you know, again, a good percentage of our water hemp right now is PPO resistant. So, I mean, we have some, I guess, experience with this. PPO resistance doesn't mean necessarily PPO resistance in the soil. And so we're still using uh, PPO herbicides like Authority effectively pre-emergence. And uh, when we have these new traits, I think that's just another tool in the toolbox uh, that we have an option post-emergence, hopefully that will help but the pre-emergence is going to be very, very important in, in the whole system. So let's talk about a few different scenarios in using these new traits. Uh, let's say you have a field and you don't use any pre-emergent herbicide, you don't use any overlapping residuals. What do you see as the outlook for that field? We will abuse the technology and render it in, ineffective uh, over who knows what period of time, but I would contend a fairly short period of time. We will, we will drive weeds like water hemp to resistance to a new mode of action where we didn't have resistance before. And that would be very unfortunate because the ag industry doesn't have some plethora of new traits and herbicides that are coming onto the market. So we, we need to preserve everything that we have. So same field, same new trait, but now we're using a pre-emergent herbicide like Authority to help it along. Absolutely, and, that, and that's going to be our recommendation. You know, we, we have to use the same good best management practices that we're recommending now without the new traits. Uh, in the future, they're going to be just as important, and we have to use them to keep resistance from occurring to these technologies. 
and last scenario. Now let's take that same field, same new trait. We use a pre-emergent herbicide like Authority, and we also use post applications like Anthem. How does that look? That's gonna be the gold standard, the overlapping residual with a new trait that you have a new tool in the toolbox that has some activity on post-emergence on our water hemp. That's gonna be, you know, top tier. And Kevin, looking into the future like we've been talking about with these new traits, what advice would you give growers who are considering employing these new traits in their program? That is what we've been trying to prepare for as well in the past several you know, winter meeting seasons and all throughout the U.S. Um, I, I'd say that the, the couple of things that we've been telling growers is it's, it's, a, it's a tool in the toolbox. It's not a silver bullet. Don't, don't buy into that, you know, this is going to solve everything and all I got to do is go spray this herbicide, whatever it is. Um, not going to work. Okay, not going to be happy with it. Um, just it's going to cause problems. Secondly, we have to, to do the best management practices that we're doing now in these future production systems and those include pre-emergence residual herbicides which in and of themselves that means multiple modes of action and I would contend it means overlapping residuals as well. It means timely applications of our post herbicides, even these new ones in the future. And that's an outlook for a brighter future, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kevin. Glad to do it. As Kevin told us, the new traits being offered to growers are excellent tools to add to their toolkit. But the past has shown that best practices must be employed in order to maintain their usefulness for as long as possible. Like using a herbicide program with products like Authority, Anthem. For more information, contact your FMC retailer. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, stay safe out there. And I'll see you down the road when you have a minute.